Okay, let's see how you did. You are spinning a bucket attached to a string in a circle of your head. A what kind of force holds the stopper in a circular path? It is, my friends, a centripetal force. Not centrifugal. Centripetal. Which is not the word that most people that's, hear. That's the water is trying to get out? That's, this is a different question. That's question number one. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll get to that one. Yeah. Okay. In a washing machine during the spin cycle, the force is on the what causing the water to be separated from the clothes? So, that's the clothes. It's like next on the water. Yes. The, the force is on the clothes. The, it's spinning this thing around, right? It's forcing the uh, clothes in a circle. And the water, because the water can go through the holes, the water just because of inertia does what? Like if I spin the rubber stopper thingy, it, the water keeps going. That doesn't mean that there's force. If I spin the rubber stopper thingy, i got to be careful in this room, because the older might let it fly in, in that room, didn't they? So try to make it go this way. Or that Not way. towards the box, right? If I let it go, obviously we all know what's going to happen, right? Heads up, Derek, it's coming your way. Right? It's going to go that way. Right? It's like the water. Right? It's because of the absence of a force. A force doesn't cause it to fly away. Right? What causes the rubber stopper to fly away? The absence, the absence of a force. No more force in the string. Okay? The force is on the clothes. It's inertia that causes the water to fly away. Okay, what is the definition of inertia again? An object's um, its tendency to continue doing what it's already doing, right? So if the, if the rubber stopper at this point around the circle is flying towards Garrett's head, if I remove the force, it's going to continue to fly towards Garrett's head. If I hold the force, the force causes the acceleration and it causes it to remain in a circle. So inertia is just one of right? Yeah, it's the object in motion stays in motion law. A tube has been placed upon a table and shaped into a three-quarter circle, just like the mini plot I heard someone say. A golf ball is pushed into the ball at one end at high speed. The ball rolls through the tube and exits at the opposite end. Describe the path of the golf ball as it exits the tube. Is it going to continue the circle? Because an object in motion stays in motion. It's going to continue kind of in between at C, or is it going to go right along flat? I don't know if many, uh, I would know it's C because one side would be spinning more than the other. If you hit it hard enough, it's going to come right out and straight, and you're going to get a hole in one. Yeah. Right out straight, flat. That's why they make it like that, so you can get that whole one. Yeah. There would be a spin on the ball. I, I, I still don't, think, I don't think it would lift it up, though. Wouldn't lift it up. The only way it's going to lift up is if there's a little bit of a, a launch angle here, right? That reminds me, some of you need to turn in that lab. I was looking at Mark's last night. Some of you need to turn some stuff out, but I'll tell you. But that still, that still wouldn't... Well, it would be C, right? Or it wouldn't be a circle. It would be like straight, be straight. and then like that, right? Yeah. Still True enough. Mr. Bannon is spinning a rubber stopper at a constant rate of three revolutions per second. The rubber stopper is accelerating. I think we've already answered that. The answer is true. Oh. It is true. Be why? Because it's changing direction. Changing. Changing direction. Mr. Bannon is still spinning the rubber stopper. What direction is the force in the stopper? Is it in? Is it out or tangent to the circle? Incorrect, my friend. It's in. What? The string is pulling it in. The string is pulling it in. Oh, wait, it, it should be tangent because what you just explained is that it's tangent because you went where you let it go is where it goes. Uh-uh. It's not because it's tangent. It's tan the the object goes tangent because an object in motion stays in motion, right? Like if I if I throw it, right, and after I throw it, it keeps going in a constant constant uh, direction, right? But if I'm spinning it when it's around and pointing at Garrett's head into the corner, at that point right there, it's doing what? Traveling towards the corner. And if I let go, there's no longer a force, and so it continues in motion. Which way is the force? The force is in, pulling it into a circle. Crap. Yeah. I did not see that one coming. Yeah. Common misconception that the force is out. Not true. The force is in. 
Can you, if you've got a string, can you push and pull on a string? No, you gotta push. Watch me push on the string. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. How could the force be out? The only way that you can apply the force is by I said, pulling. I said yes because you're doing this. So oh, well. Right? But if one end is free to move, I you can't it. push on a string, so it can't be out. It has to be in. Right? Force must be in. Centripetal. The force is in. Now, my friends, is the next question which direction is the acceleration? So no, it's not. One of F is out and P is in. Like oh yeah, the P, yes. The centripetal force is in, and centrifugal force uh, it's kind of not really a force. Kind of just a misconception that people say. Um, if the force is in, which direction is the acceleration? If the force is in, right? F net equals MA, F is a vector, M is not. Which direction is the acceleration, Riley? In as well. The acceleration is in. Now, Mr. Bennett, how can there be a numerical acceleration because it's not changing speed? I'm questioning myself. How can there be a numerical value for the acceleration? Not a numerical value, you would say. Vector value. It's a vector value. When you're driving your car and make a left turn, friction between your tires and the road causes the car to move to the left. Well, I guess if you got it wrong, you know what the answer is. True. What? How is this happening? When I turn the wheel, Right? I go left, it's because I turn the wheel, right? Well, sort of, kind of. When you're traveling in a straight line, your car wants to do what? Continue in motion, right? If you were to turn your left car, left car if you were to turn your wheel left on a frictionless surface, what would your car do? Keep going straight. Keep going straight. So friction actually, it's because of inertia. As you turn the corner, your car is trying to go in a straight line. Right? But there's enough friction between the road and your tires that it actually pushes you towards the center with a centripetal force. There can be G force in this unit too? Yeah. yeah. Now, trust me, because I've done this. This is weird. When you're driving your car, I want you to imagine, as you're pulling, making a left hand turn, I want you to imagine friction pushing your car to the left. It's a weird thing to think as you're making a left turn. <laughs> You think, I'm in control here. I'm turning the wheel. Uh, it's friction that's pushing you, man. Why is it weird? Why is it weird? Sorry, it's 